Good morning to you. Welcome to your bite-sized word. This morning I've got a very quick and it's I think it's a much needed encouragement for everybody today. Is that when we see the events of the world, when we receive bad news, when things look as if they're not going to get any better, here's my remedy. This is what I do. Because it's so easy to get distracted and to get focused on the, the horrible things going on around us. I always turn to the goodness of God. I never say, God, where are you? Why are you allowing this? I turn to the goodness of God because I've had a revelation of the goodness of God. That No matter what my circumstances are, no matter what I'm still trusting him for, he remains the same. He's constant. He's consistent in his love for me. And I don't have to perform. I don't have to do anything to get him to twist his arm. I just have to come to him. That's a great thing. You know, Jesus said, um, I don't have the scriptures open here. He said, come to me if you're weary, if you're tired, if you're heavy, burdened. And, um, you know, you'll find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So that's where I find my comfort and I find renewed strength. Because what I find is if we begin to wrestle and question where are you, God? Why are you allowing this to happen? We lose our strength because we're not turning to the character of God. We're actually blaming him for something he hasn't done. So Isaiah 61. Before I read Isaiah 61, I want to tell you that unless we find the oil of joy as the source of our power, we're going to be continually heavy, laden, burdened down, weary, and stressed out. And so in these days, the first thing is I, I turn to the character of God, the goodness of God. And when I do that, I find that I'm strengthened. I find that I'm revived. I find that I've found that place where the joy is, the source of my joy is. And it's not that suddenly I laugh at everything and I feel happy, it's that I know that understanding his character and understanding that he's for me and not against me and he hasn't, he hasn't left me to my own devices, but he's invited me to come to him when I need him, I find that that power source of joy that keeps me going. And joy is lightness. It is, you know, when you're walking in joy, there's the heaviness that the enemy's trying to put on you lifts. And then you, you feel that you can think clearer. You know, joy is so powerful. When you don't have joy, you find yourself irritable. It's in the natural. We get irritable. We get frustrated with things. We feel discouraged and depressed. When we have joy, and I'm talking about God's type of joy, the oil of joy, things change. We can see clearly. We can... You know, instead of getting frustrated with circumstances and with people, it's like we can shake it off because of, and that's because of joy. We found the power source of joy. So I'm going to read Isaiah 61 to you. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all who mourn. To console those who mourn in Zion. To give them beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. The garments of praise for the spirit of heaviness. That they may be called trees of righteousness. The planting of the Lord that he may be glorified. And it goes on. The end of it says, but you shall be named the priests of the Lord. They shall call you the servants of our God. You shall eat the riches of the Gentiles and in their glory you shall boast. So the oil of joy is a source of power that God has provided for us today. That we need to open up that tap or dig that well of joy so that we are walking in joy. You know, that in Proverbs 31, where it talks about the virtuous woman. Um, the virtuous wife. There's a translation that says, I think it's the message or the passion translation. She clothes herself with boldness and 
glorious majesty. I'm sorry, I don't have my scriptures open today. This is a bite-sized word. So that your homework is to find the scripture. So my encouragement to you today is find the goodness of God. Go to, if you cannot see the hand of God in anything in your life, read about the stories in the Bible, the goodness of God, the miracles that happened. The, right from the Old Testament into the New and today, think of somebody who has a testimony that shows you the goodness of God, that he's still active and alive today in the lives of his people and in you. I'm sure you can find something. You know, this morning, I was sitting, I needed to find something urgently. And so I planned my whole morning around being on the phone for a while or actually getting in my car to drive around to find this particular thing. That's quite important. And I had my phone in my hand early in the morning and I said, Lord, help me to find this today. Five minutes later, my phone rang and it was someone on the other side of the phone who had what I needed. And I think if I can see in the little things, now for me, there was a big thing. But if I can see God in those details in my life, I have something to thank him for. That's his goodness. So there's something in your life that you can say, thank you, God. I can see your character. I can see your, your, who you are by your goodness, because that's who God is. He is good and kind and gracious and long-suffering and merciful and compassionate. That's who he is. So the first thing is if you're feeling discouraged about events around you, circumstances around you, dig into the goodness of God. The next thing is, see in Isaiah 61 that he has already given us the oil of joy for mourning, for that sorrowful feeling, that feeling that you've been rejected or forgotten or you've lost something. Maybe you have lost something or someone, but God doesn't want you to stay in that place. He wants to give you the oil of joy. And then uh, Proverbs 31, she clothes herself with bold power and glorious majesty. Proverbs 31, clothe yourself with those things today. You put it on yourself, boldness, be bold and courageous because God is with you. You know, when you walk in boldness, all that heaviness just goes. So I'm going to leave you with that today. Have a fantastic day today. Thank you for listening to this bite-sized word. I trust you were encouraged. And... Um, I appreciate you all and I'll see you soon again. Bye.